my husband is the worst sleeper. He stays up late at night, watches TV, eats terrible fatty foods. My husband doesn't sleep because he is workaholic. He doesn't come to bed. He just stays all night long working on the computer. My husband snores so loud, he wakes himself up. He's just tired all day long. I can't stand anymore. And I was just really wondering, is that bad for his health? Let's face it, it's easy to take a snooze while you're vegging out on the couch. Maybe you fall asleep with the TV blaring in the bedroom. These habits, though, these lead to poor sleep hygiene. That can hurt your health. So let's take a look at what happens to your man's body or your body when you're sleep deprived. So you're watching TV on the couch. Everything's great, right? Well. All that TV watching, trying to go to sleep, it decreases melatonin production, which is a hormone that helps you sleep. So it's harder to sleep in the first place. What you want to do during the night is you want to go through the various five stages of sleep. It's so very important each and every night to get into this REM level of sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. That's when all of your memories form. That's restorative sleep. But the problem is when you're sleeping on the couch, not only is your brain not functioning optimally, the rest of your body. So what are we looking at here? These are cytokines in your bloodstream. When you're not sleeping well, your cytokine level goes down. In other words, your ability to fight off infection also drops. That's why you're more susceptible to getting sick when you're sleep deprived. But that's not all. When you don't get to stage three and four of sleep, your sensitivity to pain increases. So not only may you wake up with neck pain, but if you're sleeping on the couch, you're also going to probably wake up with really bad back pain. It's bad for your spine. You're more sensitive to pain. You have more pain. And that's why it's so important when you sleep at night, sleep on a mattress that's firm enough. It's best to sleep on your back or your side. So this all comes down to how your body feels. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on with your mind. He's sleep deprived. He's confused. He's having trouble forming new memories but he doesn't even know it because when you're tired, you don't realize how tired you truly are. Your frontal lobe is essential to forming new memories. That's why it's never a good idea before a big test to pull an all-nighter because overnight is when your brain takes all those memories you learned throughout the day and stores them. So that's your memory. What happens to your appetite? Your hypothalamus is very important when it comes to hunger and your hypothalamus produces something called leptin. When you don't get enough sleep, then the amount of leptin goes down. That increases your hunger. So what happens then? Well, you're going to see what happens when you don't get enough leptin. When you don't have enough leptin produced overnight, you are more likely to eat more. In fact, 300 more calories per day. So now you're overweight. You're sleep deprived. You feel terrible. Inside your body, in your bloodstream, you see all this sugar. The white molecules represent sugar. Well, your body is less responsive to insulin, so it's hard for your body to get rid of all that sugar in your bloodstream to use it the way it's meant to be used. So for you, sleep deprivation may just be bloodshot eyes. But I want to recap. For me, when I think of sleep deprivation, I think of decreased immunity. I think of back, neck pain, pain all over a memory deficit, hunger, weight gain, increased risk of diabetes, increased risk of early death. 